Welcome to Geek Blasphemy, the show where players say the most blasphemous statement in geek culture that you wouldn't say on the Discord chat. I'm your host, Young Deuces, and I'm just going to jump right in. I do want to explain the game to the listeners and the viewers just to make sure that they know what's going on. So players will be giving four categories, as you see displayed on the screen. It's going to be video games, anime, movies and TV, and comic books. Now, our players are going to select the category, and the players will choose between levels one through three, which is worth X amount of points. Each level worth those points uh, will be what you bet on yourself when you're trying to figure out who said this most blasphemous statement. Now, you will be given two minutes to interrogate all the other players to figure out who said this. After the time runs out, the player gets the moment to call out the person that they believe said this blasphemous statement. Now, if you get it wrong, the points that you chose that you bet on yourself gets cut in half and you get one more try. If you get the last try wrong, then unfortunately you get no points. Now, the accused player will tell us whether or not that person, or they were the person that said this. And again, I told you, ham it up. Like I said, we we I, I want I, I want to see the dramatics. Plus, in pre, I feel like this group already got it down packed, so I'm good with that. Uh, if the player is correct, they do win the level. If the person with the most points win, at the, they go into our highlight reel. The highlight reel will give the winner one minute to say their most blasphemous geek statement and explain it without any interruptions, any interjections from all the other players. We're going to put y'all on mute and y'all going to have to suffer in silence while they get their shit off. <laughs> <laughs> so now that they got those rules out, is everybody ready? Yep, yep. Ready. All right. All right, Ronell, it's back on you. What category are you picking for this second round? Um, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go backwards. Not that I have to follow suit, but I'm gonna go with comic book again. All right, and how much you betting on yourself? Three hundo. Comic books for the three hundo. Harley Quinn is pansexual. Okay. Okay. Two like minutes on the clock. Situation. Yep. Two minutes on the clock. Let's go ahead and start your interrogation. Um, should Harley and Quinn be with Joker? Harley Quinn be with Joker? Uh, Goku. Um, yes, it makes sense. I mean, they've always okay. been together, so why not be together? Okay, okay, okay. Um, should Harley Quinn keep messing around with Poison Ivy? Clark Scene? I mean, if they're good for each other, sure. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. good for each other. What about Harley Quinn's thing or her 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 thing with uh, Nightwing? Will she will she mess with Ryan, Nightwing? I feel like he's a fuck boy, so no. Okay. Okay. Um. Rivalry over there. Have you ever read a Harley Quinn um, comic or any comic featuring her? I've um, read comics featuring her, but none where okay. she was the lead. Okay, okay, okay. What about you, Goku? Um, same. Okay. Featuring her. What about you? Like no. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Um. Is anyone pansexual here? No. Okay. Okay. Um, Goku. Let me see. No, Larkseen. <laughs> 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Goku. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. All right, your time's up. You got to my, 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 my time for you to make your choice. Who do you believe said Harley Quinn is pansexual? Larkseen. Larkseen, did you say this blasphemous statement? Which I don't believe is super blasphemous, but it's a, it's a hot take. <laughs> it's, it's not blasphemous. It is a hot take. Um, Although I do agree Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, 
I did not, but I do agree. I do agree. All right. Now you're down to 150, bro. You got one more <laughs> shot. Who do you I believe? lost, man. It don't matter. <laughs> um, here's the thing, man. There's a person. Um, I don't want to pull back the curtain. There's a person behind there that's picking the things. I feel like this person picking the things will pick my rivalry, so I kind of want to go with my rival. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the same time, maybe he's throwing a wrench in the plans here. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Goku. Goku, did you say this statement? I did. I did. You I knew it. it. I knew it. it. Mine. Uh, All right. Why do you believe this? Um, I just think homegirl was like anything, and there's nothing wrong with that. But like, oh, yeah. I just feel as though if your man is like rang, like I don't know, like you're dating the Joker. Like I just feel like if you can accept him <laughs> and you're dating Poison Ivy at the same time, you probably want to be poly as well. So you might as well just be poly and sexual, like all the above. Like. It's a valid statement. That is a valid statement. And when you, when you also, when you think of villains and the the characters that are in Gotham, like you like got, you, like I said, there's like yes. yeah, <laughs> like, like I, Harley Quinn would definitely date a meta human, and, and <laughs> as know? long as he makes her feel good and lets her like do what she wants, I think she would date him. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right, Larkseen, you are back on the board. What category are you going with? Um, you know, I I guess I'll just go down the line. Uh, movies and TV. <laughs> movies and TV. And how much are you betting on yourself? Let's do 300. Screw it. Movies and TVs for the 300. <laughs> you guys are very, like, systematic. You guys are just like, all right, we're going to go down. <laughs> like, down <laughs> let's, just make it, let's just make it simple. I was going to drive around, but I'm like, eh. <laughs> hey, right. You know what? Sometimes you, that's how I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep keep the flow of the game and everything. Yeah. So yeah, I, I appreciate I appreciate the order. I'm not gonna I don't hold. I think too long. Yeah. Right, right, right. There. So the CW network is fantastic. Okay. That is Arrowverse. That is that is that is Supergirl, Black Lightning, The Flash, <laughs> Legends that's of true. Tomorrow, all of that. So two minutes on the clock, Larcine. Start your interrogation. I feel like I know who said this, but I'm not going to do that yet. Um, okay. <laughs> Everyone's favorite superhero. Ooh, that's tough. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, it might be Superman. Okay, okay. Could be, could be anybody. Could, could be, could be anybody. I like the villains more, so I can't even say. <laughs> okay, okay. You can give me a villain. What's your favorite villain? Who's your favorite villain? Okay, damn. <laughs> everybody, who's your favorite villain? Oh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> like it. Oh, shit, somebody else. Probably the reverse flash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Okay. 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 I feel like this is only because he's one of my favorites, not my absolute favorite, because I can't have one. But I really do like the Joker a lot. Okay. 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 Uh, favorite movie from DC. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I really like. I'm not gonna say it's like my favorite, but like a really good one now for me. I really like Suicide Squad too. Okay. 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 Uh, ready. Wonder Woman. Okay. okay. Wait, what is that? Wonder Woman, the first. Twenty one. seconds. Oh. Um. Damn movie. Favorite DC movie. Quit trying to run up the fiber. <laughs> I'm one of them animated joints. Give me one of them animated joints. Um, okay, favorite animated. Could have went animated. Yeah. War, but I don't know. Really All right, time's up. Lark scene. Who do you believe said the CW network is fantastic? Whew. fantastic is a is a strong word here. Yes, um, that's what makes it a little a little difficult. Uh, because I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Ronell. Ronell, is this your statement? Yeah, I said it. I, know. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I said it. 
Why, why do you believe the CW network is fantastic? Um, I don't need to say many reasons other than the fact that it has the Flash on it. Um, but let's put some respect on his name. It's not just the superheroes that they paved. The, they gave us so much superhero shit that nobody was dealing with, okay? For the kiddies out there, the teenage kiddies, you got a plethora of shows to choose from. I never seen it, but there's that Archie comic joint that's going on that the kids are eating up. They put the hundred on there for you. They put Arrow. They used to put so many good nerd off the beat shows on primetime television for the nerds. You gotta respect it. CW Network's fantastic oh, you know, forever. Know what? I, I you know what? it's not you know what I you 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 converted me over because I was solely thinking of Arrowverse. And I said there was more fails in Arrowverse than wins. And I'm like, fantastic, like Larxine said, is a very strong word. But when you broaden broaden the spectrum. Riverdale should have canceled yeah, it. Riverdale is, was good. Yeah, Riverdale. Oh, no, no, no. I disagree. But I oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't like Riverdale either, though. So I ain't going to hold you. Riverdale was It was good. Like, the first season after that, it was like, okay. Yeah, the first I, season was I. I that's then when they got powers, I was like, wait, what? I, was out, I ain't gonna lie. I was out immediately. My cousin told me how he tried to sell it. He was like, yeah, man, it's a dark Archie. Archie fucking teachers and stuff. And I was like, I'm out. I don't care. <laughs> that wouldn't have sold me. <laughs> like, at all. I was like, like I'm when, out. When they added the jingle jangle, I was like, all right. It's a little too much. What? Like, 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 dark green, I mean, black lightning. That was too much. All right. Oh, black lightning. Oh, black lightning. <laughs> I, I couldn't get into Black Lightning because every time I saw him, I was like, that's old boy from Living Single. <laughs> I, I that, that's I Khadija's tried. boyfriend. <laughs> All right, Young Goku, you are up next. What category are you picking? So I guess since we're going with the flow, obviously, gang, I will go. <laughs> so I do want to do video games, but I'm going to do anime just because. Just and, and I'm gonna be bold, and I'm gonna do uh -oh. 300. Gonna Anime for the 300. All right, so let's go ahead and get that category, that blasphemous what, statement. What is it? Is it uh, taken? Because no, 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 oh. no, no. You good? You good? You good? Like I said, I love the anime hot takes because, on, especially if you're on Twitter, you see that that causes nothing but discourse. I know. <laughs> Demon Slayer is a whole bunch of chibi care. Wait, am I saying that right, chibi? Mm -hmm. Chibi, Chibi. Okay, Demon Slayer is a whole bunch of chibi characters fighting each other, and Tanjiro is a crybaby. Woo! I've heard, really like I've heard this a lot. I've heard this one a lot. A Two lot. minutes on the clock. Go ahead and start your interrogation, young Goku. Okay. Um. Did anybody here watch Demon Slayer? Did everybody watch Demon Slayer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Is everybody up to date with Demon Slayer? Yes. 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 Mm, I think I'm off like three, four episodes. Okay. Um, Maybe five. Everybody name their favorite Hashira. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, Hashira. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rengoku. Uh, Tengen. Tengen, Rengoku, and... Oh, I'm oh yeah, we're good too. Oh, you want to change yours? Uh, Mitsuri. Yes, that's the yeah. girl. Yeah. 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 You came in. I ain't yeah. gonna hold you. Yeah. 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 I gotta change okay. that. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh shit. Um, Ronel, do you like Demon Slayer? <laughs> 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 that was an adorable yeah. question. It was adorable. Uh, I do. I do. You do. Okay. <laughs> Did do you like Demon Slayer? I do. We we actually reviewed it as a channel. Okay. Um. Damn. Do you, do you guys like everybody? Do you guys like? Should be art. Yeah. Twenty seconds. 
Damn, I really can't think of anything else. <laughs> I, I think I well, know. It's all right. Your time's up, young Goku. You get to make your choice. Who do you believe says Demon Slayer is a whole bunch of chibi characters fighting each other and Tanjiro is a crybaby? Oh, I forgot about that last part. Damn. I Wait, that part was that. harsh. Could have talked a little bit more. Very um. <laughs> okay, I think I don't know why I feel like I'm attacking this person because it's my second time guessing. <laughs> 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 but it's not personal. I just am going off body language simply, honestly. I'm trying my best with that. Um, so I'm going to say Ronnell. I hope I'm not wrong. Ronnell, did you say this? You're wrong. Oh! <laughs> I was going yeah, off body language as well. I, I ain't going to hold you. I was going off body language. Damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Now we're for the 150. You get one more shot. Who do you believe said this? I feel like this is probably like a repeat. I don't really know. Um. <laughs> yes. Okay. I would just say. Because I don't know if Ditch would say that. I feel like Ditch likes. Oh, Demon Slayer. I don't know. So you you picking who you? No, picking? I'm not picking this. I'm pick, I'm gonna pick Larson again. Larson, is this your blasphemous statement? I feel attacked. <laughs> Same. Same, man. But it is. But it is. I know I should have said it the first time. <laughs> All right, Larson. Why do you believe this? Um. Just like my previous statement, because it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. They are just very, very cutesy characters. It's hard for me to, while I do like the anime, it's hard for me to take it seriously. Like, I don't feel like the stakes are high just because the characters are, like, so adorable. Um, even the demons are adorable. They're cute. Um, Tengen is fine. Like, the demons, <laughs> the demons are fine. I'm like, why are we making them so, like, attractive and adorable? <laughs> And then Tanjiro is a crybaby. Like he likes to, oh, I this demon. They had a life. Like nigga, he he killed your family. He's killing your friends. <laughs> Why are we trying to sympathize with somebody who does not give a damn? Put your head off and go on about your business. And that's the reason he can't do that immediately. So it's so true. It's so true. <laughs> Now, I, where I, I agree with you a lot of it, even though they are cutesy characters, I disagree that the stakes ain't high. That's that it, that it should be happening in that anime. Yeah, everybody like, got a horrible know. life. <laughs> I, I'd be like, man. And also, did just because did. you review Next episode, did just because you review an anime, don't mean that you like it. I know, but that got heat off me. You saw how that worked. Right, 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 right. It worked. It worked. It worked. All right, Ditch, you are up next. What category are you picking? Video games. Video of course. games. Of course, I know. Of course. How much you betting on yourself? All right, let me let me do the math. I think I only, I think I only need two hundred to win, but just in case. Three hundred. I'm going three hundred. You right. Three hundred. Right. Video games for the three hundred for the blowout. <laughs> um, and we've been having some really good blasphemous statements in video games. Ooh, Paper, Paper Mario. Mario is the best Mario franchise. Two minutes on the clock. Did start your interrogation. <clears throat> hmm. Goku, what was the first Nintendo console you had? A game, um, a Game Boy. Game Boy. The one that flipped, the advanced that flipped up. Oh, okay, okay. I think we got one of those here. I think so too. And it was red. Uh, <laughs> Lark C, did you play Super Mario 64? Did I play Super Mario 64? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, okay. Right now, I see the gaming poster in the background. What was the earliest Nintendo <laughs> console you had? Uh, Game Boy. Game Boy. So nobody had the regular Nintendo or Super Nintendo. Okay, okay. Hmm. 
what's everyone's thoughts on Luigi's Mansion? Fire. I never played Luigi's Mansion. It's cool. It's cool. Wow. That should have been a blasphemous <laughs> statement. <Wow. Yeah. laughs> but I hear great things. Okay, yeah. okay. This is tough. What's everyone's thoughts on Dr. Mario? Oh, it was so fun. It's but cool. I played it on the DSi because it had like all the old games on there. But yeah, that was fun. Dr. Mario, I don't I don't think I played it. I don't think I cared to play it. All right. Nobody gave me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gave me got a thing. 10 seconds. 10 <laughs> seconds. This, is good one. This, is good one. this is a tough one. Home run. Five. But you know what? Lark scene, I think it was you. Damn. That's Lark scene. Scene. Did you right say away. Paper Mario is the best Mario franchise? No. No. Oh. Yeah, All right. That's maybe yeah. one piece is gone already. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ditch. Now we got the 150. What do you who you got one more shot? Who do you think said this? Damn it, I, I'm out of questions too. Damn. Yeah, you got a question. No more questions. I know I'm analyzing some backgrounds real quick. Young Goku, I think it was you. Young Goku, do you believe? I can't, I can't, I can't accuse right now both times. It was me. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Young yeah. Goku, why do you believe Paper oh Mario is God, the best you guys, I'm literally playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door right now on my GameCube. And I'm like obsessed. I'm at like the last chapter. The first Paper Mario I played was on the Wii though. The, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Paper Mario. And I had so much fun like with the, the pixies and the sprites and the story. The story. The story. <laughs> Good storyline. Good storyline. I literally fucking cried at the end because they fell in love. It was just really beautiful. The one on the Switch was okay. The one on the Switch was like, okay, like the origami shit, like I fucked with it. But it's like, it, you can change it to different like paper types. The storyline is great. The side missions are great. The dialogue is great. It's so fucking funny. I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with Paper Mario. I just, like I won't play this game for a long time because it's like never ending of all the side missions and all the other shit that you gotta do. So. You make me want to go play it again. Not a bad time. I know, right? <laughs> like, not, you saw the shot of that, all right? It was so much The passion. only thing is, I haven't played the first one. I played all of them, but not like the official first one. So I'm trying to figure out how I can play that. But everything else to me is amazing. The first one was solid. I just, yeah. I guess I never really focused on the Paper Mario franchise like that. So now I want to go back and just kind of yeah. like, yeah. like play them like that. All right, well. well one one, you know, this, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, well, thank you for checking out Geek Blasphemy. I appreciate all my guests for coming through. But before we get out of here, I got to go around and let our guests let you know how to follow them and where to support them at. So we're going to start off with Ronell. Tell the people how where they can follow you at and how you would like them to support you. Uh, we're on TikTok, Instagram, 8BitClosedFist. If you like video game takes, follow me there. If you in LA and you like fun anime and video game inspired events, uh, also, still follow me there. Um, also on Twitter, on YouTube, uh, a little bit of Twitch stuff. So yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, Larcine, you are up next. Where can people follow you at, and how they can support you? Um, you guys can follow me at underscore Larcine, L A R X E N E, on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, and you guys can support me by liking and sharing all of my stuff, so I don't get hold on the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Share yes. it, please share it. Yes. Link, share it. Yes, please do that. And, that algorithm and, is, right. is against everybody. <laughs> and and donate if you want more cosplay. Donations. <laughs> donations. donations. Yes. Link in my bio. Thank you. <laughs> All right, young Goku. Where can people follow you at and how can they support you? Um, I'm young Goku everywhere. Y U N G O K two U's U U. Um that's like TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, if you like funny content, um, cosplay content, um, a little bit of sexy content, um, follow me on everything. Um, yeah. And you can check the links in my bio as well. I got to that, but... yeah, big link, big link in bio energy on this one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Ditch. Bring us home, man. How can people follow you and where can they support you at, man? Uh, you can follow me at Dig underscore D. That is D I D G E underscore D E E on all platforms. Uh, you can find my content at Geek Set Podcast. Um, so we do reviews, podcast, obviously. Uh, if you're in the Star Wars, we got a Star Wars podcast that will be coming back with Ahsoka. And uh, yeah, that's everywhere. That's everything. Please like and follow and share the Black Geek documentary trailer that is up on there. And that will be it. All right, Lark Scene, our second winner of today's game. Being the victor, of course, you are in our highlight reel as well. Get one minute on the clock. Go ahead and get your shit off. All right. So, honestly, Fortnite, let's talk about it. It is a game for people with a short attention span. Um, it is a lot going on in that video game. It's it's just too much. We got people jumping, doing dances that they're stealing for black creators, by the way, which is I don't know why y'all still support it. But it's it's made for people who just cannot pay attention. You want to jump around. You're building stuff, too. Like, I, I don't I don't completely understand it. Maybe that's me being old, but I don't think I am. But like just seeing it it's just way too much my nephews play it they're like can you give me some v bucks i'm like what the hell are v bucks and you actually have to pay to get more things which i'm also very much against so parents i don't know why y'all keep fueling this and encouraging your kids to keep playing this game but me personally my kids not thank you i don't have none if you do that's great but mine would never okay my nephews ask me for it all the time i'm like no so fortnite short attention span made for kids don't know why you're entertaining it horrible thank you for watching geek blasphemy and now it's your time to get your shit off let us know in the comments down below your most blasphemous geeky statement or agree with something that you heard from today or better yet rebuttal what you heard from today but don't forget to hit that like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything from the arcade tokens page until next time deuces out